Good morning, guys. Take four. <laughs> you won't know this, but it's this is my fourth attempt now. Okay, let's have a look. So we're talking about rounding um, this week, and we were looking at rounding when we've got the bigger numbers and with the decimal places. Okay, so this might be new to some of you guys. Some of you guys just might need a recap. So what we're looking at is, for example, if I've got to round the number that I've got there to two decimal places. So, the number that I've got is 32.658, and I'm rounding it to two decimal places. So, the number that I need to look at is here. It's the 5 and the 8. Because I'm going, well, I need to do two decimal places. So, that's one decimal place, the 6, and that's two decimal places, the 5. Brilliant. Okay. So, it's the 8. So, it's this number 8, which is going to decide whether I round up or down. So, remember, as we did before... We had the number, so 32.6, and it'd be 32.650, or we can round up to 32.660, okay? And it's the number 8 that decides which one we're, which one it's closer to. So remember, like we said, I've got a little tally, a uh, little chart there that helps. Um, if you want to write one of those down on your worksheets, that might make it a lot easier for you guys to be able to work out. So what we're looking at is we've got the 32.658. We're looking at our number eight. So does that eight make it round up or does it make it round down? So does it make it go to 6.2? Sorry, 3.2, I'm not taking another one, 3.2650 or 3.2.66, uh, okay. So the 8, as you can see, means we're having to round up. So, yeah, we're moving this then to 32.660. So that is our answer for that one. Okay, I'll do some more of these. Um, it is quite complicated, or can be. Um, so if you are struggling with any of them, like I say, miss them out. When we're back at college, we will look at those. All right, guys, have a good day.